Turn one this, turn two this. Um, I guess this is a three drop. It's a terrible one. Hopefully we can do something better than that. I think I'll just replace these guys looking for um, other two drops. Better, th uh, better fours. Um, we're going to keep this. It's our one removal spell. We'll need it. Yeah, that's not terrible. I can probably ship this, actually. Because we're not really... I guess we, we have the option of taking the Monotile and developing the Fire Spitter. But it'll probably just die. I and mean, I'd rather use the Ice Blade Dryad and kill whatever my opponent played. And just be a bit more aggressive. Or, you know, if they don't do anything, we... <gasps> oh. If only there was a way to do both. If the Ice Blade Dryad worked like Mist Dragon Seal, where it just teleported it, you could... Fortune Shaper. Don't care too much about that. Two Fortune Shapers. Okay. Expect Onyx Bear Seals, I guess. So this is kind of awkward, because we can't Frostfly her in the face. Um, but we can put the Ice Blade Dryad down. So I can take the Center Tile, Ice Blade, come over here, attack this. With a 5-4, killing it. Or I can go face. I think I'd rather try and get my opponent's stuff off the board first. If I put the Cloaker there, it protects the Ice Blade Dryad, which isn't that relevant, except... So trying to untap with one of these in play seems like a good idea. I should replace. Which one of these am I getting rid of? Jax is just a win condition, so... That's not terrible. Uh... It's a shame we don't have any use for the Monotile. We could leave it be, like, put the Dryad, place the Dryad more aggressively. But then my opponent can just take this Monotile with the Fortune Shaper. So I think I'd rather deny it to her. We'll do this. I'm going to come, like, up here, I guess. Because it fights with the other Monotile. Kill this. Come to the middle. Um, there's no real reason for me to damage this 2-3, so I'm just going to leave it. Like, if it attacks nothing, I can hit it next turn. I guess it makes it slightly better if she has Killing Edge. You know, killing Edge on this, but then whatever, I can take the extra damage. Whereas this is most likely just trading. So, like, if this trade happens, this is pretty sick. Like, Ice Blade Drive, we killed we killed something, and they either dealt my opponent 5 damage, or um, traded for another thing. And we did this while developing a 3-3 that has tribal benefits. It's going to be a 6-6 six, six next time. That's awesome. Two forms. Dank Heart. Oh, that sucks. When I say that sucks, this is actually fine. So, because we have this... Uh, I want to take this Monotile. I definitely don't want to let my opponent have it. I want to bosh her in the face for six. That seems like a good idea. Um, I guess I'm dispelling this. Uh, which does mean that she can kill this. That kind of eats up my entire turn. I don't really want to do that. I can try and ignore this, but that's such a bad idea. I can avoid the frost fire play, but it's like never going to be good again. I think we can replace this guy. What do we get? Ooh. So I get Hearth Sister and kill this with the frost fired ice blade. Then I have a 6 4. Um, and a 3 2. Sorry, a 4 3. Yeah. Even better, I can do it in such a way that my minions are all near my opponent. So we buff this. Plant the sister here. Pop this. Like, the only downside to this play is it uses up the heart sister. Because she's really useful. Tribal benefits? I thought it's just a minion. Um, if I'm not entirely sure what that was in reference to, but the Ice Blade is a Vesper. Um, <laughs> yep, 
yeah the only downside to this play is we use up the hearth sister which has it which is a, a, not an insignificant opportunity cost sure okay so if we chromatic this it means my opponent still has to deal with the six one after it eats the primus shield master so at that point we're basically spending the chromatic cold to kill the primus um we can get in for four and we can still develop a rust crawler probably means i'm replacing this although we can play this next turn into jack's kinetic surge which plays around quite a lot of my opponent's answers to jack's but i think there's a lot of there's much better things i could play like i can hit a decent three drop i can hit a good six drop like a grimes or a bone reaper or a twilight sorcerer that's good what spells have been cast? We can get Frostfire, Kinetic Surge, Arcane Heart. We'll be able to get this. Yeah. All sorts of good stuff. I'm going to go face. Uh, because it's well known to be the location. I'm going to try and pressure my opponent to move towards the middle, which makes Jack's true side better. Um, so, if my opponent's over here, like, ideally she's actually on this exact square, but she can move here instead. Ooh, Ghost Lightning. Oh, crap. <laughs> I was like, oh, I should play around Ghost Lightning with Jax. And then played into it with my other stuff. That's actually not that's actually not a big deal though, right? Ooh, that's potentially bad. What do we do about that? I guess we just drop a big dude. So do I play this fast and see what it does? Uh yeah, because I can kinetic surge it, but I really, really want to have the kinetic surge next turn. She's not gonna do so much. I think you can't get Arcane Heart as many spells you cast. You are correct. So it's gonna be Frostfire or Surge. Uh, or chromatic cold so one in three that it gets kinetic surge one in two if i surge first so i should play this and then see what it does and potentially replace the results actually rather than replacing the void hunter okay i'll just keep hold of that uh so i'm going to keep hold of this as well do i replace this maybe i replace this looking for like grinds perfect Literally grinds. Ooh. Okay. So we have some spice. Uh, but this does kind of rely on my opponent letting the ironclad actually die. We might not be able to jax next turn. Like, we're still... We're doing well on cards. Uh, and on life. So I guess we're alright. But... We've given up a substantial tempo lead. That is not a big deal, I think. This potentially is. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is a lot of face damage. I will admit. Ow. Yeah, this is why I was sad about giving up that, uh, that tempo lead. So I guess we just chromatic this and drop Frost on Rhino. Hope it doesn't die, right? She only has one card left, left in hand, so she might have a buff for the Heartseeker, but she might not. And she has to have exactly Killing Edge. I don't think I want to attack this. I think I'm just going to chromatic it. Uh, is there anything better that I can hit? I can attack it and play Grimes and get really greedy. I don't really want to go to 8 though. Um, I think if I'm doing that, I'm attacking it and playing Jax. Because Jax just kills my opponent next turn, full stop. But I think this is safer. Then again, can she deal me... So if she has... She doesn't have BBS, so she needs to get 6 damage off one card. And if she doesn't have it, she just dies. Six damage being, I'll go to eight. No, sorry, four damage. 
Uh, assuming it's a spell. Is that a spell that can deal 4 damage? I don't think so. Still feels quite risky. Like, if she kills these, if she hits a draw spell or something. She could have, like, Spiral Technique, which kills me anyway. Uh... I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a win. <laughs> like this threatens lethal anyway. My opponent still has to kill it. And we're now like just slightly further away that we can avoid being hit in the face next turn by my opponent. Yeah, this is fine. This is okay because I can kill whatever's in front of me. Whoa! <laughs> Dear god. Okay. That is very scary. That does not do a lot. Well. I see your legendary and I raise you. Oh, did I just... Oh, for God's sake. I'm such an idiot. Oh, well. <laughs> I meant to play it here and I didn't. That was really stupid. You move the frost on rail from into infiltrate can you move it again yes i believe so if you give something celerity during its activation it will reactivate it <laughs> whoops yep whoops whoops is right i don't think it's going to matter but whoops is definitely right i really hope it doesn't matter because otherwise we have to deal with this kind of Awesome. Whew. Then you had lethal. Uh, last turn? Oh, sorry. I misunderstood your question. Um, if you if it's in infiltrate and you move it out, it loses celerity. You notice it lost its plus one attack when it moved out. If you move it into infiltrate range, I think it can then move again. Um, so if it gains celerity during the turn, it's allowed to keep activating 